All right, guys, now that we have the shell or the container for our body, we can go ahead and add some meat to it, some actual content. Now, remember I said that in the main section of our body, we didn't add anything in the last tutorial, but we were going to in this tutorial. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Now, I'm going to be starting with something called an article. Now, whenever you think of article, you probably think, okay, so this means that you're going to be adding something that's going to look, look like a newspaper article or a magazine article with a bunch of text. Well, an article doesn't have to be like a magazine article. It's just a way that you can group similar information together. So it's not like an article like you think of it. Just think of it as like similar information. So inside an article, here's a cool thing. Each article has its own layout, and by that I mean, you see how our entire body has a header and a footer? Well, these articles also can have headers and footers. So let's go ahead and add a header first. And I might as well go ahead and add a footer while I'm here. Footer, footer. So we're saying, okay, well let me go ahead and actually, I'll add some content to this. Let me just add a stupid paragraph so we actually have something in our article. I'll just write, this is the best article ever. There we go. Any typos? Hmm, hopefully. So if you're saying, okay, so what the heck would the header be? Well, you can put things in the header like the title of the article or even the subtitles or maybe um, a caption if it's like um, I don't know weird story or something so let's go ahead and do that now so in the header we can go ahead and add heading one just like before and what am I gonna title this article I got something really creative in mind title of article and no explanation point I'm not that excited just yet and also you can have additional for example h2 tag and here we could do something like write a subtitle. So let me think of subtitle for article explanation point on that piece. However, I want to mention this. Whenever you have more than one headers, for example, we have two right here inside your header, you need to group them together inside something called an H group. Now you do this by just surrounding them in H group tags. And this is just so HTML5 doesn't get confused. It's going to be like, okay, is this the title or is this the title? And we need to say, no, 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 HTML5. This is actually part of a big group. Both of these things are important. And actually, you see how we have everything lined up right here? I actually want this indented. So with Notepad++, you can just go ahead and select it and hit Tab, and it'll indent. It doesn't delete it or anything. So now our header is all set up. It has a title in a subtitle and we group that in something called a header group so HTML5 wouldn't get confused. Now we also have this one paragraph and that is the main content of our article. Now in the footer we typically have things like um, you can have if you're writing a blog you might put a link to comment on it or if you're just writing an article you can just write something like this. Oops like write who it's written by written by Bucky Roberts or you might want to put the date or something but that's pretty much it so mainly you have an article or at least that's one thing I'm gonna be telling you that you can put in the main section an article is just grouped similar information now in this article it could have its own layout including its own header its own footer and of course you need some actual content to go in there now in the header you can have a title and a subtitle and when you have more than one you have to group it in something called an H group and aside from that you can also have more than one article in this section so let's just go ahead and copy this and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it down here and let me just add some two so I can differentiate this and I'll write this is the second best article ever so if we go ahead and save this run and launching Chrome right now we can see that we do have two articles subtitle for, or excuse me this right here is article one and this right here is article two so again like I said nothing is laid out yet and I want to mention this 
it may seem that all these tags are kind of useless for now, but later on I'm going to be showing you guys the awesome things you can do with all these so-called useless tags, and you guys are going to be amazed. So a bunch of people just didn't sit in a room and come up with a bunch of useless names for tags. There's actually some awesome, amazing stuff that you can do with it, and that's where the power of HTML5 comes into play. But for now, I'm just going to kind of tease you guys and just follow along for now. I promise you guys, you will be amazed. And also, I'm going to be copying all this code and posting it on my forum so if you kind of miss something or maybe you're getting an error or something or your document doesn't look exactly like mine just go ahead and look at my code on my forum and uh, you can just go ahead and actually copy the whole thing and paste it into your document if you want but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial